Speaker, sir. The amended motion basically gives a sanction of 18 months. Reduced, reduced to 18 months, provided that uh, the Order. leader of the opposition apologizes to the public, apologizes to His Excellency, and if he does not apologize, then the three years comes into play. And that is precisely why I'm stating what, what I'm stating. You only apologize if you know that you've done something wrong. And as I've pointed out here, <laughs> Mr. Speaker, sir, that is why I was talking about what I talked talk about. You require him to apologize. You cannot apologize if there was no call for sedition taking place. If that did not take place, then how can there be an apology? So, Mr. Speaker, sir, that's why I am talking the way that I am talking. I'm not embarrassed. I'm standing here, I'm not embarrassed. Order. My emotions are mine. I know my emotions. You do not know my emotions. So you can't tell me, you can't tell me what my emotions are. Embarrassment is an emotion. Order. He's talking to me. Sorry, Mr. Speaker, sir. as I was trying to elucidate, that's why I was making that statement. You cannot apologize if you have not done anything wrong. All the accusations have been imputed. There's been no explicit statement inciting anybody. So if that's the case, how can you apologize for something that you have not done? You apologize for what you have done. You apologize for what you have done. In all the cases that have been brought here, about the cases that went to the Privileged Committee, explicit words were spoken and heard and recorded. In this case, there are no explicit statements. It's inferred from things that are taken from here and there. And from there, one tries to build up a case of what was meant. But those are all imputations. They are all inferences. There's nothing explicit that says that there was any, what do you call it, seditious talk or um, trying to belittle the behavior of his excellency. You were trying to interpret English. That is my point, Mr. Speaker, sir.